Hello everybody! It's me, Jennifer Smiles, and it has been a hot minute since I made you guys a video. So, here I am, making you guys a video. So, a couple of things before I get into this review of this journal. Um, <laughs> I have moved pretty far. I will be working on some video blogs and stuff. They won't be awesome. I've never really been a vlogger, but I wanted to try. So... Keep an eye out for that. I'll have some stuff talking about it because I moved pretty far. <laughs> Big life changes. And I'm really excited. Um, another thing you're probably noticing, my lighting is very different. That's because I no longer have natural lighting, so I now have to use a ring light to help with this. So, Alrighty. We are going to be talking about the Vivid scribbles dot journal. This is not a scribbles that matter journal. Um, a lot of people I think are confused can be a little confused because it has scribbles in the title, but it is not a, it is not from Scribbles That Matter. This is its own company. I found it on Amazon, so I figured I'd give it a try. To be 100% honest, I'm just a little too impatient waiting for the STM restocks, and I don't actually know when they're going to be restocking, and I like to have at least a month to get everything figured out for the next year, so... This is what I chose to get. Now, I do have my Scribbles That Matter that I have been using for 2019 right here. Um, now, not I don't have all of 2019 in here. It's from March, May. I think I started it in May. Yeah, so my first month in here is May, and I will actually be able to fit the rest of the year in here, which is pretty awesome. I'll have like a few pages left over. Now. The first thing I actually noticed right off the bat, the Vivid Scribbles is an A5, but it's not a true A5. Um, as you can already tell, it's larger on the top and just a smidge on the side. Very small, but it is, it is a bit bigger. And also, it is kind of hard to tell because this is chunky, but it is a lot thicker lot thicker. So your Vivid Scribbles journal will come with an elastic, comes with a pen loop, and it comes with three bookmarks. If you didn't watch my channel, you know I don't even use more than one bookmark, so extra bookmarks. <laughs> um, there is nothing on the cover except for the embossing on the back for the company. I actually like how minimal this is. Uh, it's very very minimal. Now, my first impressions of the cover, I'm not really a fan of the type of material. Um, the Scribbles uses this like nice like faux leather. I think it's faux leather. I hope. Um, but it feels nice. Like it's nice to the touch. This is kind of like that. I kind of feel it like describe it as rubbery. Like it is like a faux leather, but it is a bit rubbery. And I have already noticed that it picks up anything dark so like if you put it on like a dirty table it picks it up really easy and the first thing I did was I took my A5 Midori cover now these are pretty inexpensive clear covers uh, this is just a sticker I put on it and I can get these for like five bucks on Amazon and they're for an A5 <laughs> unfortunately due to this being a little bit bigger it doesn't actually fit so if you use the clear Midori covers like I do, it's not going to fit on this journal, which kind of sucks a little. Now, I opened it, which means you've already seen this design. Um, it does come with their own little scribble design inside and also in the back. Now, I do think the design is very beautiful and well done. Personally, I like having a nice, clean intro thing like I like having nothing here just because I'm a little bit more minimal like that but it is pretty and if I don't like it I'll just take some craft paper and cover it you know sort of thing but it, it does come with that it immediately opens up into the glued page which is always fun then you have your key three index pages and I should actually specify I forgot this um, this is 140 GSM paper if you use the Loic term, the Loic term I believe is 100 GSM and the new scribbles that matter paper is 160. So this is kind of like a nice middle ground. Um, I already did the pen test which I will show you here in a second. 
Um, the pages are numbered. You get 200 dotted pages. This does not include your index or your pen test, so you get 200 individual dotted pages. So you're getting a lot of pages in this book, which is really nice. It's, it's definitely a thick, thick boy. And I think the only thing I was a little not happy about was I got used to having the markers in, in the dots where it would be a little line in the STM because it would, and then the actual middle dot would be like a little plus in the STM. So I think that's going to be my only gripe with the paper. I just, I like having that marker because it makes it easier to plan, but that's a personal preference that's not going to make me not use this journal. Um, it is stitched binding and it does lay flat. So this is like the first page and I mean it's not yeah, see, it, it lays pretty flat no matter where you kind of stick it. So it does lay flat, flat, fat, flat. <laughs> the binding is really nice as well. It's got a nice thick binding. And just a tip for you guys, if you didn't see this in one of my previous videos, any extra bookmarks you don't use, instead of cutting them out, I like to thread them through here, have it come out the bottom down here, and then I'll actually take it and I will like tuck it up into here and take just a small piece of washi tape and just tape it in here so then I still have the bookmark but it's not like in the way and then I if I need it it's there and I don't have to cut it out so if you find yourself you know not needing three bookmarks or even two bookmarks just thread it through your binding pull it up through the bottom and just tape it in uh, this journal also comes with a pocket the the uh, side of the pocket will match your journal. I got yellow, so it's yellow. And this is like a nice kind of like canvasy type of fabric. It's not paper, so it's pretty sturdy. The pen loop as well is pretty sturdy. Um, when I first was playing around, I pulled it a lot. I did tear this a little bit, so I'd keep that in mind. You're going to possibly tear that. The only issue I have with the pen loop is it's really low. <laughs> um, I wish it was like right here, and I'm going to show you why. So I use, this is actually my daily writer. Now, when I put my daily writer in, I don't just set it like like that, okay? I pull it down, well, I, I pull it down so the, um, the loop goes through it. Now, I don't know about you, but that is really low. <laughs> um, I think that's my big issue with the pen loop, it's just way too low. Um, on the STM, it's up higher, so like when I tuck it in, it lines up perfect with with the note with the rest of my notebook. Um, I think this was a massive oversight on this company. I think they were just trying to make it even because if you look, it's like almost directly in the middle of the notebook. But I don't think they accounted for how people put their pens in their pen loops, and uh, that this is just an oversight to me. I really think it should be up a little bit. So. Uh, yeah, if you use a pen loop, keep that in mind. I normally use the one that comes on this, but this doesn't fit, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. I might actually end up removing this completely and just getting a new one and putting it up here just because this is way too low. Now, you also get the pen test pages in the back, so I'm just going to flip back um, to them because I don't want to like give it away. So the last page you'll have before the pen test is your 200 pages, and then it will go to your pen test. Unfortunately, my recording didn't work properly, so I've already done the pen test, but I will show you what I used. So the first pen I used right here is actually a Sharpie Fine, my daily writer, so I always have to make sure this doesn't bleed through. Then I used a Stettler Tri Plus Fine Liner. Um, a lot of people like to use these. I actually don't anymore, but I figured I'd let you guys see. Then I used a Micron, which is really popular with bullet journaling. I use mine mostly for um, filling in smaller numbers and stuff, just for little writing. But for the most part, I don't use these for daily writers, just because I find them a bit expensive and the nibs wear down. Whereas Sharpies, I can get a pack for like four bucks. Um, the next pen I used was the Muji pen, and I also did a smear test right here, and yeah, I will, I'll talk about these as I go. Over here, 
Um, these top two are a mild liner. This one I went a little bit more heavy handed just to see, you know, if you're coloring a bit. Um, the blue is the Tombow Twin Tone. Uh, I did heavy handed again and then just a quick line. And then these two, I'm not sure which one is which. They're both the Tombow Fudenosuke, which I don't think I'm saying that right. Um, these are really good for like calligraphy and headers. I actually don't use mine um, as much as I thought I would or really at all. But I know that a lot of bullet journalists really like to use these pens, so I thought I'd give them a test. So that's what these two are. And I did go a bit heavy handed with the lining and then these are just quick strokes. Next right here is a Tombow dual brush tip. Um, I did go very heavy on this and just a quick line and I'm going to talk about this right now. So I did notice when I was going really heavy handed that this actually ate the paper and that told me right away that you cannot use watercolor in this journal um, or I mean you can try. I'm not gonna because like I said it ate the paper and you like when I run my finger across I can like feel or like the cotton of like the paper kind of peeled off and like I actually had to brush it off. So if you use water-based markers, which most of us do, don't go too heavy in this notebook. It will eat your paper. Um, next, I did a stamp using my Ranger Archival ink. This is what I use to do all of my headers. So when you look at my journal and you see all of these, these are all done with this ink. Um, I do almost all my headers with stamps now just because it's a lot easier and it looks more uniform. And then lastly, just for posterity, I did one quick Copic line. This was very light handed. I just did a quick stroke, so no heaviness. And the Muji pen, before I flip this over, we'll do the smear test. Um, it did smear first. Now I noticed with my STM using the Muji as a daily writer didn't work out for me because my hand would get a little sweaty and it would still smear. So I've been trying to make my hand sweaty and like trying to rub it again and it hasn't moved. It only smeared because it wasn't dry yet. So yeah, like, oh no, a little bit. Okay. Cause that was, a, okay. So when I'm a little bit sweaty, it does rub a little bit. So if you use a Muji pen for a daily writer, it might smear just a smidge even in the future. Cause this was written a while ago now. I had to wait for my batteries to charge to re-record. So I, don't think I'd recommend using a Muji pen if you do, not in this journal, and absolutely, definitely not in this. Um, I was using it this month, and I'll actually show you, like, right here. Every time I go to write my one line a day, this just, it just smears more and more. So, like, I don't really recommend using Muji pens if you don't like smearing. Oh my gosh, I didn't want to focus. Um, so, Muji pen was not so great. Okay, now when I flip this over, this is actually what I kind of expected because um, it was it, the paper is very thick. The only actual bleed through I had was from the Copic, obviously, but it wasn't as bad as I expected. There's some ghosting, but only on the ends where it really had time to sit. It bled through, and then the Tombow Twin Tone, and this is actually, I'm going to try really hard to like, oh, I can't zoom in anymore, this is close to skip, so. so like, it's really hard to like see on camera, it looks like, but like, the uh, Tombow Twin Tone, this one, where it was heavy, and I really pushed down, it started to ghost, and you could see little tiny spots where it was going to start bleeding, but it didn't. And then otherwise, I mean, I can kind of see very, 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 very light ghosting on the stamp, but it's really hard to see. Like, it's not even picking up on my camera. So, I mean, that's good. And absolutely not a single one of my pens bled through. So if you do use a Sharpie fine point pen like I do, you should be fine. Um, I'm trying to think if I have like a big, huge, like Sharpie Sharpie. I don't think I do. Or I don't know where I put it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So just for posterity's sake, because I know some people use like actual Sharpies. 
um, we'll do this real quick. So this is just a big, thick black Sharpie. I use this for any of my videos that I never upload of opening packages. So it's just a quick line. I'm not going to scribble in. Oof, that smells. So. Oh, okay. Don't use a Sharpie marker. <laughs> um, that actually bled more than the Copic. Wow. Okay. All right, so I don't recommend using this, but this this sharpie was fine um in fact i'm gonna i'm gonna do some heavy handedness on this real quick just scribble a block in here all right yeah okay so still it's not too bad i mean you can kind of i'm gonna bring it up to my face yeah so i mean the sharpie fine point is okay there's no there's no bleed through I'm going to assume just Sharpie markers like these are not going to work. So if you use them, that's what you're going to get. <laughs> but otherwise, I mean, yeah, it worked pretty good. Um, the three bookmarks you get are different colors. Those are my three. And yeah, I mean, the pen test turned out pretty good. So if you're looking for something that has like thick pages, but it's not like 160 GSM thick because you get way less paper, I would recommend this journal. Um, I really like it. My gripes with it are very minimal gripes, like the pen loop and not having dot like the markers in there. That's about it. Zoom back out. But otherwise, I actually really like this journal. It has way more pages. My STM only came with 157 pages and the pen tests counted as a page. I don't know if my oh yeah and so did my key and index so that's something to think about when you're getting your journal for 2020 um I mean I'm getting mine a little bit late but it, the scribbles that matter which I love I love so much your first page starts on your key and you have 157 page no 158 pages which ends on your mindfulness page so that's it. Whereas with this journal, you're getting 200 dotted pages plus your index and your key. These are not numbered pages. So you're getting a lot more for your buck. And these are the exact same price. Um, this was 21 something. This was 21 something. So you're getting a lot more. The pages are a little bit thinner, but not by much. Uh, if you use the like term, you're definitely going to notice the difference because the like term is, I believe, 100 GSM. And as we all know, those are very prone to ghosting. So I would say if you're looking for something that doesn't ghost, but isn't as thick as an STM, and you're not a fan of the STM paper, I would say get this. The paper is thinner. It actually has a slightly different feel to it. Maybe. Yeah, kind of. The dots aren't too dark. Your pages are numbered. I really like it. I just really wish this was up here. <laughs> that is my only gripe, really, is this should be up here. Um, another thing to consider is your um, your elastic does leave indentions in the notebook. Um, mine actually came that way, so as it gets chunky, if you have chunky notebooks like I kind of do, like, because mine gets a bit, mine gets to be pretty thick, um, you'll probably have more of that but I mean that really depends on how you feel about that kind of wear. I will most likely be getting a cover for this if I can find one because it's a little bigger. Um, so for the most part this will probably actually get tucked in here along with this and then I'll have a cover over it so I won't even probably really even notice the pen loop or any of that. But overall I really enjoy this notebook, I haven't written in it yet. I mean, it does get dirty kind of easy. It's just going to bother me. I mean, I have a white notebook now. <laughs> Obviously, I like things clean. But it is a really good journal. i um, really excited to see how it works. I won't have a full in-depth, like, time review of it right now just because I have to set it up and see how it holds up to things. But for now, it seems like a really good sturdy notebook. I mean, it's holding up to me really messing with it. And I'm known to break my binding. <laughs> like, I've actually broken the binding in my books. 
So I think that'll be like the real test, how it holds up to me breaking the binding. The dots also go most of the way. Well, I think that looks a little bit like a wider gap than the other. Maybe that's just me, but... Oh, it is. Okay, so these dots have like... I think that's a centimeter. I don't know how to read a ruler very well, forgive me. Um, I'm just like a centimeter off from this side. Might have only just been this one page I opened up to. But, yeah, I don't know. Just a weird moment. Um, yeah, first impressions, I like it. Recommend it. Um, before I go... I wanted to talk a little bit about 2020. I will be working on a bunch of new videos, which include me attempting video blogs. I can't guarantee they're going to be awesome, but we'll see how they go. I will also be working on my 2020 plan with me, which might actually be a couple videos because I haven't decided if my collections are going to go in the front of this notebook or, excuse me, oh my goodness. Or if I'm going to use this, which I got from um, Paper Penguin Company on Etsy. If you use Traveler's Notebooks or you're just looking for inserts or anything, I really recommend her page. Um, they are stapled, which I know can turn some people off, but her notebooks are really well made. She uses really nice paper. You can pick if you want it squared or dotted or lined or blank she has much like so many different sizes and so many different like covers you can pick um but i was thinking i might use this for my 2020 collections just because i've noticed that i tend to need two notebooks for a year i don't know if i can fit a whole year in this with how i set stuff up so there is a chance I might use this for collections that way I can just pop it in the front of this take the elastic and I can just you know do that with it or when I get a cover for this I'm gonna see if I can maybe find the traveler's notebook that I can get with just two elastics instead of four and then I can just pop this in there with it too like I said I'm not set on stone in that quite yet Right now, this is as far as I've gotten with planning my, my 2020 spreads. Um, <laughs> not very far. So I'm going to start doing the process of writing down pages on post-its that I want, sticking them in here, which is a really good idea for planning if you've never done that before. I'll take like a post-it note and I'll actually cut it into like strips. Write down the different pages I want and I'll go through and I'll be like, this is going to be this page, this will be that one. And then I can just move stuff around until I have it how I want before I actually go in with pencil and pen and all that because you never know what can happen before the year starts and you don't want to get too ahead of yourself. At least I have a bad habit of doing that so I've been working on it. But this is as far as I've gotten right now in that process. Um, once I actually start the planning, the, the inking and all that, I will um, be recording that for you guys. So I will have a new plan with me video it's been a while. <laughs> um, I haven't decided if I'll be recording one for December yet for 2019. I actually haven't set it up yet. I have all of 2019, or, I mean November set up, so I have the room to do December. Um, I will actually have just enough room and have like maybe two or three pages left over um, after December, which is awesome. Because that means I filled up an entire journal. Oh my gosh. And it's not a Nuna. How crazy. I never thought it would happen. It's only been like four or five years. I've lost track of how long I've been planning for. Uh, but yeah, so I haven't decided if I'll do a plan with me for December yet. If you guys would like to see me set up December, uh, just let me know in the comments. And I will definitely do that for you guys. I know it's been a while. I don't think I did one the past like two months and I really liked how October and November came out and I didn't even like record it but just do like a little flip through like I absolutely I got this new like washi and like these stickers and stuff from Wish and I've just been in love with them obviously it's like all over um this is actually a sticker that my friend 
Drew. She does um, a lot of paintings of various K-pop artists that I know nothing about. But I love her artwork and I really liked how this came out. I don't normally decorate my weeklies anymore, but it's perfect. Um, and then I did the same for November, but I switched to like these coffee stickers and succulent stickers that I got. So yes, I'm really excited to see how 2020 goes with how I've been planning lately. But yeah, if you'd like to see me set up December, just let me know in the comments and I will, I will do that. Um, Right now, uh, after this video, I'm going to be working on editing this and then getting my moving vlog kind of worked on. It's going to be a bit weird. But yeah, I think that's all for now. Um, there's a train. <laughs> I don't know if it's done yet. Um, <laughs> okay, as I'm trying to say goodbye to y'all. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me work on, especially if it's the December setup. Otherwise, I'm just gonna wait and do the 2020 stuff. I'm not sure, so let me know what you want. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever floats your boat. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I'm going to be trying really hard to focus more on recording and adding new content and everything. Um, having moved and having my life change a lot, I'm going to have way more time for YouTube. So definitely let me know and definitely join my channel and hang out with me and yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and happy planning.